Well, if you're in the mood for hitting the slopes, New England ski resorts are st <coughs> starting to open. Wachusett Mountain is opening tomorrow with five trails open to start the season. They'll be closed Thursday for Thanksgiving, but back open on Friday. And in Rhode Island, Yagu Valley is slated to open sometime after Thanksgiving. TJ, no uh, natural snow, but of course they can do the man-made stuff when it's cold enough, right? <laughs> Yeah, we certainly had cold enough weather this week uh, to uh, create some snow. We are looking at a bit of a warm-up over the next several days, though. Let's take a look at what's going on right now. First of all, in terms of the radar, looking for rain and snow, and we're not tracking anything out there this afternoon. Just blue sky out there as we look on off to the west from Newport. There's Jamestown there in the distance for weather all looking pretty nice. Here's uh, the threat tracker for today. Wednesday and Thanksgiving. It's really quiet for the next few days here in southern New England. And as you'll see across most of the country, it'll be pretty quiet. New Bedford, we've got these pretty blue skies. And in Providence as well, with the temperature currently standing in the 40s in the capital city. We're at 47 with a calm wind, so the wind chill factor, not much of a factor today. 45 Smithfield, 47 in Westerly, it's 43 in Coventry, New Bedford. Right now at 48 degrees, so a lot more comfortable uh, today compared to what we had yesterday when it was still a little breezy, but the winds are quieter now. And you can see all across New England, it's a lot quieter, even out there in western New York. Looks like the lake effect snow machine is done in New York for now. It'll probably fire back up at some point in the next couple of weeks. We are looking at some rain showers down there in the Gulf Coast, Texas, Louisiana, even Florida seeing some rain showers, thunderstorms, more showers up there in Washington State. But most of the country really quiet. Hour by hour forecast showing those showers actually moving offshore from Texas. And then uh, right through Wednesday, one of the busier travel days of the year. Eastern half of the country is nice and quiet. Most of the western half super quiet. Maybe some snow there in the northern Rocky Mountains. But if you're traveling anywhere across the country, at least weather-related delays, probably not much of an issue. On Thanksgiving Day, we do have some rain, thunderstorms that'll be developed just north of Houston, all the way up into Illinois. But the eastern seaboard, including right here in southern New England, super quiet and staying quiet in our area right into Thursday evening. Now that rain eventually does arrive, but probably not until later on Friday. So your forecast for today, we're looking at sunshine, temperatures, maybe just a couple of degrees warmer than where they are now, topping out in the upper 40s with much less wind. And then for tonight, we're down around the freezing mark with mainly clear skies and a light westerly wind. All right, here's your seven-day forecast. Quick scan. Looks pretty good right through Thanksgiving. Temperatures around 51 tomorrow. A little bit cooler on Thursday, but pretty much where the temperatures are right now, which is not that bad. On Friday, we'll see some showers developing, and I'm thinking mainly in the afternoon and evening. Originally, that was looking like a pretty sizable storm. Kind of looks like it uh, wimped out. Really didn't form to anything sizable. Saturday right now is looking dry. Maybe some more rain arriving on Sunday and then drying out for next Monday. You can get your full forecast anytime at WPRI.com or on our Pinpoint Weather 12 app. All right. Thanks, TJ. And stories we're working on coming up all new tonight on 12 News, the trouble with old fishing gear at the bottom of Narragansett Bay. We're seeing how it's plaguing local fishermen as well as marine life. That's TJ's story, plus renewed warnings for the busy travel week, what local authorities want you to do when hitting the road for Thanksgiving. And 12 News exclusive interviews with former Governor Gina Raimondo, now Secretary of Commerce, and Marty Walsh, U.S. Secretary of Labor. That and much more in three full hours of 12 News, all starting tonight at 4. When we come back on 12 News.